In the most recent episode of Better Call Saul, we saw Jean make a couple of phone calls. One to Francesca, which was referenced in Breaking Bad, and the other to Kim. I found out what was said during that call, despite us not being meant to hear her. Someone has figured out exactly what she said, as well as what was said over the radio dispatch, in the teaser for the next episode. But before we talk about that, if you could be so kind to leave a like and subscribe, it would mean a lot to me. You can always unsubscribe or late state if you don't like what I'm posting, blah blah blah, let's get on with it. So during the call with Francesca, Saul is updated on a few things. The places where characters such as QB and Huel have ended up after the events of the show are discussed. Thankfully, Huel eventually made it out of that safe house, so that meme is dead. When Francesca ended the call with Saul, hey that rhymes. He decided to call Kim for the first time in years. Shortly before he stopped for this call, he sat at a crossroads, because symbolism. However, we then cut away to across the street because of Covid restrictions. The crew couldn't get too close to Bob so I had to film a few metres away from him. The rest of the show is shot this way so the audio is always muffled. It's like trying to listen to someone else's conversation on the train. Nah, just kidding. We don't hear the conversation in the phone booth for artistic reasons. However, this inaudible conversation in the phone booth is actually pretty audible in the German dub. Here's where it said, I'll put it up on the screen because me trying to read German will just be a travesty. If you can read German, you're a step ahead of the rest of us, so to catch everyone up, here is the English translation. The beginning is inaudible, but it's mid-sentence and he is already upset about what Kim must have said to him. You have no idea what I did or didn't do, okay? Why don't you turn yourself in? And you don't have to be considerate of me, I can only be hanged once. Okay, Kim. Why are we even talking about this? We're both smart. This confirms that he is indeed talking to Kim. Kim must have told him that he should turn himself in, to which he reacts angrily. Credit goes to the Redditor who discovered this. That's some excellent detective work. I've tried listening to the scene over and over again, but... You can't hear a thing in the English version, so we have the Germans to thank for this one. I didn't think they'd be so helpful after what happened the other night. Some people had questions about this translation, so the Redditor promptly answered them. He wrote, Some comments suggest that the dialogue in the English original is a little bit different from where I translated. This is definitely the case and can be explained. My English translation is a one-to-one translation of the German dialogue. However, there may be small differences between the English and German scripts. So when we hear the full call in a week's time, it's very likely that the English dialogue will be slightly different from where I translated. Okay, so that's to be expected. Still, what we have is better than nothing. At least we know he was 100% talking to Kim, and she suggested that he turn himself in. The Redditor also writes, In the comments I read some misunderstanding. No, Jimmy does not want Kim to turn herself in, at least in the German version. The phone call probably goes something like this. Jimmy is very upset that Kim suggests he should turn himself into the police. We don't hear her say this, but it's implied. Because he barks back at her, yelling, You have no idea where I did or didn't do okay? Why don't you turn yourself in? You don't have to be considerate of me, I can only be hanged once. So at this point, that's just him being very upset. Of course, he doesn't want her to turn herself in. It's just his initial reaction. Maybe in the English version she doesn't even say this at all. We will see. Now, I presume we'll hear the full conversation from Kim's point of view in the next episode. Honestly, with only two episodes left, I have no idea what the show is going to do. How will it have time to wrap up Jean's storyline, whilst also spending adequate time with Kim? I have some thoughts on what Kim is doing at this point in the timeline. And I might do another video on it if you guys are interested, let me know below. For now, however, let's get into the second thing I promised. What was said over the radio during the teaser for the next episode. To catch you up, the last episode ended with Gene breaking into Stuart from the Big Bang Theory's house to steal his identification and a bunch of other stuff. He broke from the norm because Buddy refused to do it. Now, can we just get an honourable mention for what a good boy Buddy has raised? 
That's the best boy in the Breaking Bad universe. He deserves all the pets. I am the one who gives pets. It's safe to say that this decision to go on with the plan will be the downfall of Saul. Last time he decided to get involved in the deeds of a guy with cancer, it didn't go too well. Some people have suggested that the audio in the teaser is a police radio speaking about a gunshot, which implies that we're heading for some bad news with the police in this episode. Well, the wonderful people on Reddit analysed the audio, and I believe that this is mostly true. Someone did a few equaliser adjustments and was able to make out most of the audio. It's definitely a police radio. Here's where it said, Vehicle parking complaint, grey Chevy, Astro van, parked in driveway, 1023, 1023. Gunshot on 65th and 70th, 224 out. Unintelligible. Now, 224 sounds like a police code, so it makes sense to Google it, right? Well, if you do Google it, you get the script of Better Call Saul, Season 5, Episode 1. That same audio runs when Gene is listening to the police radio, after he got paranoid about his taxi ride with Jeff. So yet, the audio from the teaser is in fact a police radio talking about a gunshot, but it's from the previous season. It doesn't tell us anything solid about the upcoming episode, other than maybe vague foreshadowing that Gene's first meeting with Jeff is relevant to what we'll see. Which is not really news. So, that audio doesn't really tell us anything. In fact, them using old audio is kind of them trolling us, which is pretty funny. Now, here's where the interesting part comes in. I love Reddit, you know, it's brilliant what this hive mind comes up with. One user pointed out that the audio is totally different in some online clips of the teaser. The clip spoken about in this video is a TV spot version of the promo. The audio for the online version appears to come from a stock audio album which you can find online. I'll leave a link to it in the comments. I can't play it here because the video will get flagged. Those people hang on to their stock audio like a child hangs on to his mother in a supermarket. Now, it's worth mentioning that the audio and the visual of the teaser don't always match up. After point and shoot, we saw an image of Jimmy and Kim's flat, with audio from Carol Burnett's kitchen played over it. So who's to say if the audio is relevant at all? And that's it. That's what was said to Kim over the phone, and what was said in the teaser trailer. Hopefully you learned something from this video, I know I did. Thank you Reddit for being brilliant. If you haven't checked it out already, check out r Better Call Saul. It's a brilliant community that is currently great, but when the show ends, it's gonna just turn into okay buddy chicanery. It's all downhill from here. Anyway, that's all for this. If you could be so kind to like and subscribe, you can always unsubscribe or late states if you don't like what I'm posting. It's completely free and it helps me out a lot. I'll leave you all there. Bye, folks. Oh!